those of you who drive on the highways from Providence to New York City or New York City to Baltimore or Chicago to Milwaukee, you're almost guaranteed to see as you're driving down the road those very colorful double-decker buses called the Megabus. Um, Megabus, it turns out, is a pretty remarkable case study of Biff-style innovation and transformation. It really has reinvented and recast, not just about as prosaic an industry as you can imagine, bus travel, but the very experience of riding in a bus. So, started about 10 years ago in Chicago, and they'd shuttle people from Chicago to Indianapolis or Cincinnati, whatever the case may be, and it got off to a slow start. It took them about 18 months to carry its one millionth passenger. Fast forward today, they've got service in 120 different cities. They now carry one million people every five weeks. That's about more than 10 million people a year. And they've had such an impact on the ground transportation system in the United States that analysts now call it the megabus effect, in the same way that there's the Netflix effect in Hollywood and with, with making movies. More and more people are getting out of their cars and getting onto buses. Other bus companies have been forced to raise their game and elevate their experiences. And more and more downtowns in smaller cities are seeing lots more business and lots more economic activity because it's so easy for visitors from outside to come and spend time there. It really is, when you, when you dig into it and don't worry that it's not space travel or gene splicing, it's really kind of a, an amazing sort of thing. How did they do it? First, they did it by looking at the product itself with completely fresh eyes. I mean, it's pretty depressing to be in most buses. So they said, let's go with those European-style double-decker buses, panoramic, totally glass ceilings, huge windows on the side. Every seat's got a power supply, fantastic Wi-Fi in the buses. Everybody gets a seatbelt, so you actually feel safe. GPS trackers on the bus, so A, they don't get lost, and B, they're double-decker, so they're not going to hit a low overpass somewhere. And they really refreshed and reinterpreted and, mon and modernized the experience of sitting in the bus. They totally reinvented the ticketing system. There's nothing more depressing than going to the local bus station and sitting in line, standing in line to get a ticket. You feel like you're John Voight in Midnight Cowboy or a, a perp on Law and Order trying to get away from Briscoe and Green or whatever the case may be. They developed the first in their industry internet-only reservation system, yield management software. If you're the first one to buy a seat on that particular bus, you get your seat for a, a dollar. The mascot is called One Buck Chuck. He's on the side of the thing. Um, totally paperless, goes right to your phone. You can reserve your seat. They have premium seats. You want to go up front and up top so you get the great views. You can do that. On longer trips, they now have kind of first-class seats. The seats recline all the way back. It's, again, a very modern, very cutting-edge ticketing system. They reimagine the personality of the brand. Lots of young people take these buses. As I said, they've got great Wi-Fi. So it is kind of social media on wheels. Everybody on the bus, if you're right, they're, they're, they're Facebooking, they're tweeting, they're Instagramming. And so um, Megabus has embraced that stuff. And they do all kinds of hashtag uh, campaigns. And they, I mean, it's got a tremendous presence all over social media. It really is a very advanced brand when it comes to social media. And the end result is that they were totally able to redefine the market. And it really has become a force for change and renewal and excitement in an industry that hasn't had much change or renewal and excitement in a long time. And that, to me, is what happens when that spirit of innovation migrates to more traditional fields, when people don't let what they know limit what they can imagine.